A customer journey map shouldn't take hours to design, but most of us end up dragging shapes around, fixing spacing, and trying to make everything line up. And by the time it's done, the meeting's already over. Today, I'm gonna show you how to create a clean three lane customer journey map using Vengage's AI diagram generator, complete with pain points, fixes, and simple trackable metrics. Let's go. Okay, so we are starting in Vengage's AI diagram generator. I will link it in the description below for you to try it out for yourself. In this prompt field, I'll paste this prompt. Diagram, journey map, three lanes, moments, pain points, fixes, and metric tags. This tells the AI that we want three swim lanes, we want key moments, pain points and fixes, and a simple metric tag for each stage. I'll click generate and let the AI build our first draft and we'll come back once it's ready. Okay, so we got our generation from our prompt back and I just quickly brought it into the editor just by clicking the customize button. And honestly, this looks great. The AI has created three lanes, awareness, activation, and retention with placeholder nodes for each touch point. It's clean and everything is spaced properly and we have a good skeleton to start customizing. Just like the other Vengage tools we've covered on our channel, Vengage gives you a strong starting point instead of a blank canvas. So now let's make this match our brand. I'll click brand kit up here and I'm going to apply this kit for Brandy. I have my palettes, I have the logos, I also have the fonts. So all I have to do is click the shuffle button and it'll automatically update all of these colors. So I can shuffle through these a couple times, see which one I like the most. Okay, I like this palette the most. And then I can go ahead and apply one of our logos. So I could drop this in here. I could put it up here at the top. And then I can also apply all of my fonts. So I have my headings, I could update that. And then I can also update these paragraph ones. So this instantly updates the swim lanes, the labels, and then all of my connectors. Everything now looks consistent with the visuals that we use in our internal playbooks and customer docs. Okay, so moving on, the AI left us these placeholders here under each of these lanes and for our moments, our pain points, our fixes and our metrics. What we're gonna do is have the AI designer autofill our content for our diagram. To do this, you can either click this edit with AI button up here in the top right corner, or I can click the AI designer button in the bottom left. I'm gonna open this. And what's gonna happen is this will open a chat so that you are now able to prompt the AI. Now I already have my moments, my pain points, my fixes, and my metrics from an internal doc. So I'll give these to the AI with text before that says, place these in the correct placeholder text box. So I'll just paste my prompt here. And then all I have is everything in their clear section. So I'll go ahead and send this and the AI will begin processing our requests. And we can actually watch as it begins updating all of our text. So we're seeing everything update, and then we got a confirmation that everything was completed. This looks amazing, and we didn't have to go in and manually type this. Now we can see under the awareness lane, our moment will be user sees an ad or hears about the product. The pain point is messaging or relevance isn't clear. Our fix is improve ad targeting and clarify value proposition. And then our metric to track is organic traffic. And then it went ahead and did the same for each of our lanes. This looks great. Now we can actually go in and clean up some of this writing. So what I can do is go and click this one. The text is pretty small, so we can make this larger. User signs in, explores core features, and returns during the first 30 days. What I can do is go to improve text up here, and I can make this more professional, and the AI will automatically begin suggesting new copy for me. The user logs in, engages with key functionalities, and continues to return within the initial 30-day period. I can easily just replace this section, and I have a more professional text here. I can do that for a couple of these, since they are pretty short. Another thing I could do is click one of these, and I can either make it shorter, fix the spelling and grammar, or I can say, make this more friendly. Add helpful guided onboarding and send personalized in-app nudges to make things easier for you. That looks good. I can increase this too. And the AI just tightens the tone so that everything reads consistently across the journey map. So before we finish this, I'm just gonna make all of this text consistent in sizing. 
So I'll select everything and I'll make all of this text 16 pixels. Okay, so we have all of our text as the same size. And now what we're going to do is run our accessibility check. To do this, we'll go to file accessibility and check accessibility. And then we'll go ahead and click check my design. What this will do is flag contrast issues, text sizes, and read order. I'll fix one of these. I have a couple of small text sizes that I need to fix. So this text mapping the user experience from discovery to conversion, it needs to be larger, at least 16 pixels. So I can go ahead and make that larger and just adjust that. Okay, so that one is taken care of. Moments needs to be addressed. This is at 15.17, so we'll make that 16. Same with pain points. And you can see as I'm fixing these, they're falling off. So they're actually passing the accessibility check. So that is super helpful. It also gives you context of how to fix them. And then now I have a pass for my text size. I have a pass for my color contrast, links, and tables. This is super helpful. Now we're finally ready to export. So I'm gonna click download. You can download this as a PNG, a PDF, a PowerPoint, email HTML. PDFs are great for internal reviews while PNG works well for slides and Notion docs. What I'm gonna do is download this as a PNG and then we can take a look at the final. So let's take a look at this in our browser and this looks amazing. So before we had no visual structure, no clarity, and we just had scattered insights that I pulled from a Google Doc. After with Vengage, we now have a clear branded journey map with metrics, pain points, and fixes ready for reviews, playbooks, and strategy docs. This just took a few minutes, and that's how you build a full customer journey diagram using Vengage's AI diagram generator. This workflow saves you hours every week and gives your team visuals that are consistent, accessible, and easy to understand. Try it for yourself, the link's in the description, if you liked this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the Maker Thrive channel so that you never miss a new video. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.